guys, this is Bethany from Teaspoon Soap Breathe, and um, together with my mom, Melissa, we run um, Teaspoon Soap Breathe, which is a handmade small business. Um, we make handmade soaps and hopefully, eventually, other um, products, but right now we're just sticking with handmade soaps. Um, and so I thought, um, since we just put in a big order um, for our June, July, our July, August, no, June, July, August <laughs> soaps, um, that uh, I thought I would show you guys our haul. Okay, so first up, we have um, some beautiful glitter from The Good Glitter, which is um, an amazing company. They do, um, all their glitters are biodegradable and eco-friendly. So of course, you know, we, we, we wanted to, um, you know stock up on some glitter and um it's like amazingly beautiful it's super sparkly and this one is um called cake and you can see some of the glitter it's purple and pink and blue and just gorgeous different sizes chunky so it really shows up on the soap um and we are actually affiliates with the good glitter so if you use code teaspoon which is all lowercase, um, at checkout, um, you can get 10% off your good glitter order. So <laughs> make sure to use that, that's super great. Um, and next we have our Mad Micas order. We love Mad Micas, beautiful colors. Um, so first we got Taxi Cab Yellow and we have a big jar of it because um, this is like per my personal favorite yellow. Um, it doesn't change like to a weird orange. It doesn't, you know, fade or turn gray. Um, it works beautifully in soap. And next in that order, we have Voodoo Red slash Pink. Um, so it's, um, it's actually a little bit more red than it's showing up on camera, but, um, it is a beautiful color. Um, I definitely, it's definitely one that you want to keep in your stash, you know. Because um, my go-to red is Trial by Fire uh, by Nurtures Soap, maybe? Or Mad Micah's? We'll have to see. But Trial by Fire is my absolute favorite red. But this one, when you need something different, go to. Um, next we have Strawberry Moonshine, um, beautiful, beautiful pink, it's more pinky, kind of light, um, than the Voodoo Red. Um, this pink has sort of a, um, I don't know if you can see a shimmery aspect to it, which is super great. Next we have, in our big haul, um, Enchanted Forest, beautiful dark foresty green, got a nice shimmer to it, um, you know, it works beautifully in soap, we've used it before. Um, that's why we have a bigger container. Ballet Slippers, another um, one we stock up on because it's just beautiful. I think this is our third container of this, um, so maybe next time we should just go for the bigger one, but um, beautiful, you know, just a if you put a little bit of it, it's very light pink. If you put more of it, it turns this beautiful um, kind of magenta-y darker pink, but true pink, it's beautiful. Um, this one, Mint Julep, um, we've used it before. We had this little teeny, um, one of their little teeny bags of it, um, but, um, but we loved it so much we had to go big. <laughs> um, and this one is going to be for our pastel soap um, that's coming in June. So um, that's really exciting. I love like the mint kind of pastel tones. Um, perfect. Um, and next is Aphrodite. This is a new one for us. Um, this one also is for the pastel one, uh, the pastel soap, but it's super shiny, super lovely. Um, and it's just a general beautiful blue. Um, and then we got a little bit of Titian Teal. Um, 
which um, is another like beautiful color. It's uh, not really blue. Um, I thought it'd be a little more blue, but um, it's very green, um, which teal, blue green, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it's, it's a beautiful one. Um, and then now comes my favorite part of opening packages, the samples. Um, let's see what we got this time. We have, ooh, Emerald City, um, glitter. Ooh, super pretty, super sparkly, very pretty. Makes me want to do a, uh, Wizard of Oz soap. That might be coming in the future. We'll see. <laughs> um, and then the, okay, next is a big order from actually this one's two orders because we ordered some and then we're like no wait we need more um so <laughs> we'll start with this um these are a bunch of neons um so uh we're making a neon soap a black and neon soap um for june and um the kind of theme for it a little sneak peek is um like kind of 90s uh, roller rink carpet. <laughs> um, very specific, I know, but um, it's, you know, an idea that I have and it's like, I need to do it. So um, first we have this beautiful, uh, super bright um, neon pink by Nurture Soap. Um, I always get Nature's Garden and Nurture Soap mixed up, but super, super pigmented. Um, super beautiful. I love it. We've already used it. It's beautiful. <laughs> and then we have a neon purple. And I know purples are really hard to do neon, but I think they did a, a super good job. You know, you can, you know, you, this is as neon as you can get a purple. Um, and same with that, um, it's the blue. Blues are hard to find in neons. Um, you know, they say they're neon, but they're not they just don't go with the collection of other neon colors um but this one definitely does definitely neon um which is beautiful um neon orange super bright like a cheesy puff <laughs> um this one's called neon orange yellow um the neon yellow super bright highlighter and neon green this one's also super bright um beautiful colors and uh you know all together they're like uh beautiful beautiful soap beautiful collection <laughs> and then also we have um two winter whites so uh, we usually use titanium dioxide to um make soap white but um if you've ever used um, titanium dioxide, uh, you know that it's a little harder to um, to kind of uh, get the clumps out of. You know, you really have to mix it, and then if you don't mix it enough, you get little white specks in your soap that kind of like smear. It's not very good. So, um, so I wanted to try some winter white and see how white we can get it. Um, you know, just for, just for the soaps that don't need to be super, super white, um, you know, uh, the ones that we're mixing with color, I really, uh, want to try something else. Um, and then along with that order, we have these baggies. Let's do that. Um, so we have, um, from Nurture Soap, we have Klein Blue, which is a beautiful blue. Um, it's definitely like a denim blue, which is nice. I like that. But it's a little bit like a fresh, bright denim. Um, we have Magic Moments, which um, if you can kind of see, it's kind of like a, um, I'm a rose gold almost. Um, yeah, I would say rose gold. Um, and then, um, we also have Wanderlust, which is super pretty, um, super bright. It's almost um, neon-esque, but um, it's super, 
pretty. It's like a pinky reddish tone. Um, we also have Rainforest. And that one is, um, looks almost comparable to um, that little container. Where did that little container go? I lost my little one. Well, the other one <laughs> from Mad Micah's. <laughs> it looks comparable to that. Um, but it looks good. It looks really nice. This one has more of a, like a mint tone to it, but still the blue, heavier on the blue than the other one. Green, beautiful. Um, next we have Hello Spring, which um, is a beautiful bright spring color. Um, I'm sure if you just use a little bit, it would be super pretty. Use a lot of it. It's a nice bright grass color. Um, love it. Um, and next we have these little um, little baggies. We have some coral reef, which is beautiful. We have sugar and spice, which is again, um, kind of going to the rose gold side, but, um, but more of like a, what I would call like millennial pink. Um, that's kind of what I was going for. Um, and then along with that comes the cantaloupe. Um, these two colors are for um, a sand soap, a pink sand soap. Um, I was going to use um, pink clay, pink kaolin clay, but um, I was just looking at, um, you know, different different people using it and depends on what their soap oils were, uh, like changed the color. So um, because I know we're not going to do a pretest, um, I decided to use the micas because they're more reliable and I know what color we're gonna get um, but in the future I definitely want to try um, some more uh, you know quote-unquote natural um, mica oh not micas pigments so you know the clays and um, you know stuff like that um, I think that would be an interesting um, to make a soap with a couple different um, you know earth pigments <laughs> um and then next we have alpine green which is um also kind of well it's similar to this one um to the rainforest but it definitely looks a little greener you know um that's why we just got a little bit because we're you know we don't know um until you use the pigments you don't know exactly the color they're gonna um you know, if they're going to be super different or if you want a little bit of this or a little bit of that. Um, and then last we have a uh, rose pink. Beautiful, bright. Um, and then for our second order um, from Nurture Soap, we have um, some more of these jars. Um, we have, let me open it, um, Red Vibrance. Um, and so we've never actually used red vibrance because, um, before we made any soap with red, I did some research and I found out that red vibrance doesn't make a true red color. It makes a brick red color. And so the soap we're going to use it in, we need a brick red color. So red vibrance, but the rest of the vibrance line, I love, love the true colors, love the bright colors. They work beautifully. Um, we also have electric orange um this one's super sparkly i don't know if you can tell but it's super sparkly um bright orange but the neons aren't sparkly and um it's a little bit different than the neon um and then we have orange marmalade um let's open this one up Ooh, sounds pretty it's got a little bit of well, a lot of sparkle, a little bit of maybe redness to it, like a um, mix between <laughs> a mix between a Cheeto and a, a flaming hot Cheeto. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and then we have two big containers from Nurture Soap. We have Trial by Fire. This is what I was talking about. Nature nurtures nurtures soap. <laughs> Nurtures soap. Nurture soap. Nurtures? Nurture soap. 
<laughs> you say things over and over again and they lose meaning. It's weird. Um, but this is Trial by Fire. This is the red that we love. Um, it makes super true red. I know it looks pink kind of here, but it definitely makes a true red, um, which we love. And then this one's Orange Vibrance, another staple. That's why we have um, such a big container. Orange Vibrance is definitely a staple for us. Um, and then comes my favorite part, samples. Um, let's see, let's see what we got for the first order. We have, ooh, Berry Twist. We love this color. We actually have a big bag of it. It's um, beautiful, beautiful and melt and pour actually. Um, it looks super cool because you can see the um, pink and the purple kind of iridescence to it. Super gorgeous. Um, and then this one says, I don't always answer my door, but when I do, it's because my soaping supplies have arrived. Very true, very true. Um, and let's check out what's in this little satchel. Ooh, this one's Jam Session. That's a pretty one. Definitely looks like a grape, grape color. And um, this one says, this is this meme. It says, new craft project, me. All my unfinished craft projects. That's me. Um, I have so many unfinished projects. Like, I am the queen of unfinished projects. Or half done projects, or projects that I got too tired to do, or you know <laughs> this is nurture soaps <laughs> nurture soaps um haul section now we move on to nature's garden um which i love scents clearly um but um both mom and i we just love smelling the soaps it's one of our favorite parts of making soap it's just smelling all the scents um i can smell some now <laughs> um this one is melon jasmine and you know i smell them now they're of course going to smell a little bit different when um when they go through saponification but um you know might as well smell Ooh, mm. that one has like like a deep freshness it's like a definitely melon i smell um Honeydew, um, definitely um, cantaloupe a little bit, but um, there's a floral to it. Not too much. I would say more melon than floral. Um, beautiful. We'll have to see how it soaps. Um, next we have Nature's Garden Burst of Energy. I think this is supposed to be um, citrusy. There again is that like deep freshness to it. I don't know if it's mint or, um, I don't know if it's the citrus maybe, but it smells really good. This one's definitely citrusy, but you can smell sweet to it. Um, maybe some pineapple. Mm. Yeah, mango. It smells really good. Um, excited to use that one. Um, we have Petals of Spring. Um, so beautiful. <laughs> so springy. Ooh, yeah, this is the one I smelt. Um, I could smell through the, like, bag. It was just wafting towards me. Mmm. Smells so good. Um, yeah. It's definitely floral, but, like, like a watery floral. Like, I don't know. Do water lilies have a smell? I don't know. That's what I imagine water lilies smell like. Or like, I don't know. Tulips? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it smells super good. Um, blue agave. Um, this was actually um, recommended to me um, to use. And so we'll see how it smells. Interesting. Weirdly enough, it kind of smells like the petals of spring. It's definitely nice. It's like almost a spa scent, but um, just very fresh. Like no real notes you can like pin 
but um, just in general, it's a really nice one. Definitely um, one I would use in soap. <laughs> um, lemon lavender type. I love lavender, love lemon, so we'll see. Ooh, smells good. It's almost spicy, um, but um, you definitely smell the, la the lemon, lavender's there. Smells like, um, I don't know, maybe like a cleaning product, but not like, not like a laundry detergent cleaning product. More like, I don't know, like a Febreze or something. It smells super good. Um, we have Honey Bunny. So cute. Mmm. You definitely smell the honey. And sweet. It smells, it definitely smells like sugar, you know? It smells super good. Um, lavender sage. I can almost taste the, like, I think it was the lemon lavender one. I must have breathed a little too deeply. I can taste it. <laughs> okay, this one's lavender sage. Ooh. Definitely smell the sage. Definitely smell the green. But it's not off-putting. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Sorry, it smells really good. It smells like um, like something you take a bath with, you know, like like a lavendery sage Epsom salt or something. It smells really good. I like it. It's definitely not like sweet, which is a nice change from some of the other ones we use. We usually use a lot of sweet scents because um, I like them. Birds of Paradise. Ooh. That's like floral. Um, again, don't know what kind of flower, but it, um, I'm assuming birds of paradise. <laughs> um, but it's definitely a nice one. It's got a nice sweet undertone, but fresh. A little bit of green on top, maybe. It's a nice one. I like this one too. I like all of them. So far, they're all good. <laughs> Ooh, bergamot. I love bergamot. Love me some bergamot. Um, I love Earl Grey tea, so. Ooh, yum. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. That, um, that definitely reminds me of Earl Grey tea. Um, not quite, not quite Earl Grey tea because it's not just bergamot, but this is a really good scent. Um, almost smells like, um, like an essential oil kind of. Um, smells super good. Um, we have almond. Um, this one's supposed to be like a floral scent, um, not like a food almond, so we'll see. Ooh. You definitely get the hint of like almond extract, you know, if you like smell almond extract when you're baking. But there's definitely like a floralness to it. Yeah, that's good. I like that one. I'm super allergic to almonds, by the way. <laughs> so, um, but I like the smell. Um, next we have Hawaiian suntan. You know, heading into summer. Um, I know it's only, well, when I'm filming it, it's only March, but April. It's April. <laughs> when I'm filming it, it's only April. But, um, you know, soap makers always have to be a couple months ahead because soap takes time to make and then saponify and harden to a good bar. Um, so, let's smell this summer. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that smells like banana boat. Like, um, maybe not banana boat. What's the one that smells like bananas? Um, the sunscreen that smells like bananas. Um... I feel like it's banana boat, but maybe it's not. Um, I don't know, but it smells just like suntan lotion um, or sunscreen. Yeah, ooh, that smells good. Um, yeah, that would be good in like a lotion for summer <laughs> or like a sunscreen. Um, and then last but not least, we have peach magnolia raspberry. And we have a big bottle of this one. Um, I don't remember why. <laughs> Maybe because the amount, usage amount was different, usage rate, or maybe they didn't have a smaller size. 
I don't know. Ooh, that's nice. Fruity, like raspberries, peach. Yeah, that's nice. I like this one a lot. I would wear this perfume, body spray or whatever. Um, and that looks like that is it for our uh, nature's garden portion of this haul video. Okay, and um, next is, uh, so we get most of our scents from uh, nature's garden, obviously. Um, but um, we did go outside of their company a little bit. Um, Wholesale Supplies Plus, um, you know, I'd like to try some rustic essentials, different things like that. But their prices, nature's garden prices are just amazing and their shipping is not bad and it comes to us in an extremely timely fashion um so we like them <laughs> um but we do have some a couple uh fragrances from wholesale supplies plus so um we have raw sugar and mint um i like that they come in glass bottles it feels like fancy um, and good for the environment. <laughs> um, but I don't like having to tape it, which I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Mm. That smells good. Definitely smells like a sweet mint. Um, not too overpowering, which is good. I know some, like, mints can be really strong. Um, and, uh, you know, because I'm very allergic to mint, um, that can be an issue for me. But um, this one was very sweet, very nice. I like that. Um, we have Sweet Rain by uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus, but it's the Crafter's Choice brand. Uh, smell this one. Oh, that's nice. It's got a lot of green. But you can definitely smell some sweet, maybe some flowers. Yeah, spa, spa scent. Very nice. I like that. Um, we had gotten a um, fragrance oil from uh, Nature's Garden um, called Rain Barrel. Um, and um, I was hoping that it would be a good... Um, watery fragrance um we're not huge fans about of the like water or ozonic fragrances um but this one's nice i like this one um last but not least black raspberry vanilla um everyone loves this one super popular um we've never used it um but we clearly will oh this one's really taped oh okay <laughs> black raspberry vanilla hmm. it's a essential oil and fragrance oil blend 89 weirdly enough it has no vanilla in it <laughs> um yeah it smells good it smells great you can definitely smell a little bit of the like chemicalness but that usually fades as soon as you put it in the soap but yeah, I think it smells good. I like it. It's a good one. Um, let me type this back up while I'm talking to you. Um, so you might have noticed, might have not noticed. <laughs> um, I got a haircut. You like it? Um, I usually cut my hair for summer, um, pretty short because um, of my migraines. I can't wear it in ponytails, and um, you know I want that off my neck. It's sweaty and hot. Um, but what do you think? cute cute <laughs> okay and then also from wholesale supplies plus we have we have some little things what is this oh we have some super sparkle rose gold mica powder super sparkly super nice okay and for one of our soaps, um, the pink sand soap I was talking about, we have some sea salt, um, pink, pink sea salt in medium, um, so uh, chunkier, which is nice. You know, we're not going to put it through the bar, um, so it scratch people just on top of the bar. Um, add a little pizzazz, but um, 
I like it. It's pretty color. It's nice. We were going to use um, the Brambleberry ones, but honestly, Brambleberry shipping. Um, we live in Washington, so you'd think it would be pretty good, but it's just so expensive. And we're, you know, we're at the beginning of our soaping career and we're a small business and it's just the two of us. And so um, just price wise, this was better. Um, I don't know about quality wise, but price wise, it was better. <laughs> so I know this is a long haul, um, but we just have one section left. Um, the little bits and bobs. Um, so we did an Amazon order, we did an Etsy order, um, just little, you know, specific little things we needed here and there for, um, the upcoming months. So we have some squeezy bottles that we're going to try a new technique with. Um, so that's exciting. Um, we have, um, some little teeny tiny paint brushes. Um, I like to hand paint, um, some of our embeds that go on the top so um i needed some new little teeny tiny brushes because um i was using all of my um painting ones the ones i use for watercolor and acrylic paint and stuff i was using them for soap and um i needed some soap specific ones um so they don't keep going back and forth um we also got a pitcher um which is also for a technique um you know it's big enough that we can pour uh, uh, plenty of soap in it. That's what I needed this for. A specific size and to have this little spout. Spout was important. Um, we got cookie cutters. Um, you'll see what we do with those. Um, we have popsicle sticks and toothpicks that we use for swirling and mixing. Um, we also have um, a mold, um, a dolphin mold, dolphin column mold. Let's see if we can see the animal. Oh, it's a tiny guy. Then it's a tiny guy. Let's see if we can put it together. Oh yeah, here we go. Hold on, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Do you see it? Do you see the dolphin? Oh yeah, you can see it. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Dolphin. And then we have a crescent moon. Um, these are nice, long. Definitely long enough um, for our uh, molds. <laughs> for our soap molds. Which is a pain, uh, like, sometimes when you get uh, molds, especially from Amazon, they're, um, I don't know how long they're, maybe 10 inches? Our mold is 12? No, our mold is 11. So they must be like eight inches. I don't know. Um, anyways, these ones look long enough, especially this one. This one looks nice and long. Um, we also got some of these little, um, we got some little rose molds and some little leaf molds. Um, never have enough of those. Um, because if you have just one, um, one set of the molds, you got to fill it over and over and over and over again. And when you have a couple sets, um, you just do them, at, do them all at once. Um, and then we also have this. Um, I've been using it already. That's why it has um, soap and stuff on it. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you can tell. It's a crystal mold. So it's actually for um, like a, a votive. I think they call them. Um, you put a little uh, tea light inside of it once you make the crystal um, holder out of either resin or soap or whatever. Um, this makes beautiful crystals. Um, let's see if I can show you one. Like they're really cool. Um, but they're a pain to unmold. Um, super, super hard to unmold them. Um, like, I don't see how if you actually wanted the base, the whole thing to come out intact, how that would happen. That's not capable to happen. Um, <laughs> and um, that looks about it. Um, finally, we got um, from our Etsy order, we got this little teeny tiny um, little uh, cookie cutter. Um, we are making a Winnie the Pooh soap with a little honey bear little honey pot on there and um, I'm gonna be hand painting them 
which um, I super enjoy. I like doing all the little details. Um, but yeah, that's our haul. Um, if you have any questions about where we got stuff, you know, uh, leave a comment below and I'll, um, I'll leave a link for you. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, so look forward to our soaps coming out in June, July, and August. Um, and if you would like to see little sneak peeks, you can follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram is at Teaspoon Soapery. And um, we do have soaps in the shop right now. Um, so you can look at those. <laughs> um, those, uh, those are at uh, teaspoonsoapery.com and our Etsy shop. Our Etsy shop is also Teaspoon Soapery. Um, but yeah, oh, don't forget that good glitter coupon uh, coupon code, the 10% off. Um, it's teaspoon lowercase. Um, and that will give you 10% off. Good glitter order. Super great. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.